Welcome, I'm Dr. Steve Lattenschlager with ninjamastery.net. All right, today I'm going to show you how to change the color of an indicator plot line. On the screen, we have a few windows. Up in the upper left, we have the NinjaTrader control window. Below that, we have a chart window. And to the right, we have the NinjaScript editor window. Now I have gone, already gone ahead and I've copied the simple moving average indicator, the one that's built in with NinjaTrader, and created a new one that's identical in every way except for the name. I named it AASMA Plot Colors. And it's what's open here in the editor right now. And you can see quite a bit of uh, code here. We have our on state change method and our on bar update method. And when we want to change plot color, we're going to make the change in the on bar update method. But before we get to that, we'll go ahead and plot this chart as it currently is, or I should say, we'll plot this indicator on our chart. So if we open up the indicators dialog, we can see our indicator here. We double click it. And we'll just go ahead and accept the defaults. And you can see that we now have a thin line that's charted. Let's go ahead and make this a little more visible. Give it a width of five pixels. And you can see the color is currently goldenrod. And that applies for the full length of this indicator. But let's suppose that we want to change the color of the indicator based on the level of its value. So we can see here that the value of the simple moving average goes roughly between somewhere around 2,500 and 2,900 or so. And let's say that for every one step of 100 points, we would like a different color. So we'll go in here into our on bar update method for the indicator. We'll skip over all the standard uh, indicator code from the built-in simple moving average that we copied over here. And I've already written some code and I'm just going to paste it in here. And this is the code that we've pasted in. And this is what's going to change the plot color the way we described. So first I'm going to get the value uh, of the simple moving average. And you get that all plot values for any indicator can be found in the value property. And the index of zero tells us we want the value from the first plot. And we only have one plot. So since we start indexing at zero, its index is zero. Now let's say if the value is above 2900, that we want the color of the line to be yellow. So we use the plot brushes property. So this is really easy. It's available in every Ninja script and we will um, use zero to indicate the first plot. And then the second index here is the look back index for the bar number. So a look back index of zero would be the current bar. A look back index of one would be the previous bar to the bar before that. So you can see this plot brushes array gives us the ability to set the color for every bar and every plot in this indicator. So we've set this in, in the current case to yellow. For 2800, if it's above between 2800 and 2900, we'll set the value to C in. If it's between 2700, 2800, magenta, and so on, lime green, orange. Now, once I've written this code, I need to compile it. And you can see the little icon down on the left showing us that it's compiling. And once it's done, we'll just go back over here to the chart. We'll use the F5 key to refresh the chart. And you can see that all of our colors have been applied. And from about 2900 up, it's yellow. 28 and up to 29, it's cyan. From 2700, 2800, magenta, lime green and orange. Now, for different types of indicators, such as um, a bar indicator that's not drawn as a line, but actually as a, as a histogram, 
uh, we can the, the same technique applies. So we'll just show you what that looks like. So instead of a line, let's make this a bar graph and we'll just apply that change. There you have it. Very simple. The secret is the plot brushes property.